you know, you don't have to find it just on board. You know, some of the some of the best leaders on our team are on the shore. We saw like a lot in the last leg where, um, you know, you guys being tested and, 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 and being tested physically, probably scared, uh, but certainly kind of how are we going to make a good decision in this moment? And I just wonder because at all the times, everybody on your boat, on every boat, you saw this relentless kind of professionalism and it seemed really, okay, deep breath, this is what we're going to do, you know. But what did it take to get there? Like what's actually going on in your mind when we see, okay guys, this is the plan, take some input, you know, decisive leadership. What's actually going on? Honestly, I don't know what you see. <laughs> so it's, it's tough for me to speak to this exact situation, but for me personally, maybe there's a lot that you don't see, which is the, the frustration, you know, the anger, the, the disbelief. Every, everybody gets frustrated because we all have high expectations, sure. especially now we're not currently meeting them, you know, yeah, on, sure. on the leaderboard. Everybody has their coping mechanism, you know, like some people scream, some people shut down and get quiet, you know, some people try to laugh it off and make it seem like not a big deal. None of those things fix the problem, Yeah, you know, yeah. so you got to go through it, you know, as a group, we can help each other snap out of it, support each other. Um, you know, call each other forth, you know, whatever it is to accelerate that process that I think is natural, you know, but I need to go through that process so that I can move on, yeah. you know, because if I don't do that, I'm always going back to the, you know, what if, if only we had, you know, and to, to, to fully move on, you need to let it all out. Yeah. And then it becomes very clear at that point, it's, I've let it go. Yeah. We are where we are. It's that simple and you're usually confronted with two options, which is like, fix what plagues you, mm -hmm. or give up. Yeah, yeah. And those, those mechanisms that you've got to solve the problem, you know, you, 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 you discuss as a team, like, I need it this way. Like you say, you know, I, I let it out by moping, I let it out by shouting. You know, do you have to kind of agree on those? And no, kind no, of... no. I, I think um, <laughs> if everybody was the same, you'd have a horrible team, right? Right, 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 right. right. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. so different... Four people just moping. Yeah, exactly. Like, different people have different ways of dealing with things. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the more perspectives you can get, the more experience you can get, um, you know, to some extent, the more diversity you can get, you know, in terms of um, intellect, problem solving, even, you know, emotion. You know, you need... You need a little bit of everything, and it's, uh, yeah, it's admittedly difficult to find in four people. You well, you, I, you have this image of a skipper being, like, unshakable, you know? And, like, you know, that, that the hero in the movies that's always the one that rallies the troops and all the rest of it. What's that like as a I mean, it's, it's, it's the right thing to do, I understand that. But was that easy as somebody who was the leader to go, these are my weaker spots, these are my vulnerabilities, and oh, this is what I, I need to do? I mean... <laughs> No, no, nobody's perfect, man. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and you think of like all the people that have like come before me in this position, you see a lot of anger. You see a lot of passion, you know? I mean, it's, it's part of the game. We're competitive people and you know, we're not playing chess, you know? I mean, the stakes are high. In this last leg, we were in a pretty, difficult, challenging part of the world. And that takes what would have been an eight and makes it a 10, you know, for sure. Um, but, you know, hopefully we can, you know, keep, keep, keep our reactions down, <laughs> down at an eight. Could you give us some idea as to, you know, what you're aspiring to be as in, you know, the, the perfect, the perfect Charlie Enright, facing obstacles, dealing with the obstacles, projecting a really good image. What, what's you on the perfect day? You know, I think as, as a leader, it comes down to respect, you know? If you're demonstrating the right things and kind of leading by example, um, you know, that's, in my opinion at least, when um, respect is earned. You also got to kind of believe in yourself, you know, because, you, you know, you are what you are. You know, you can't change people, but you can change personalities, you can change behaviors, you can change tendencies, all that. Um, but you gotta have confidence in yourself because you got this far, right? So you must be doing something right. So it's always something new. You know, you're always dealing with, you know, an issue here or an issue there, but um, it's the fun of it, you know? That's, that's, that's what makes it challenging. That's why we do it. 
I'd like to say it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it just makes it fun and challenging, you know, and different. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do anything else. <laughs> so. You, you're where you should be. Oh, I think so until someone tells me I'm not, you know, and then, uh, and then on to the next. Never really been a, um, you know, long-term, long-term planner. I try not to worry too far. You know, there's enough on my plate as it is right in front of me. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Cool.